All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new scripting tutorial. It is the Def King here, back with another video. Uh, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be teaching you about run service, okay? Now, listen, I'm not going to lie. I don't even understand it that well, but I do need to explain at least the basics of it because, um, you know, I need to teach you guys this for another tutorial I have coming soon. So I want to actually make sure you guys understand it at least a little bit, or at least in my knowledge and the knowledge of the tutorial that I'm making in the future. Anyways, um, this should be pretty good enough, but... What I'm going to be teaching you about is run service and basically the main three events that everyone talks about, like the heartbeat, uh, run your stepped and stepped, and then I'll talk about, um, it actually does some cool things like you can check with run service to see um, if you're in studio or if you're in um, just a, uh, if you're in a server or if you're on the client. It's kind of cool actually, so yeah. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and start real quick and yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into here, into our starter player scripts. We're going to make a local script because... Um, heartbeat can only be ran from local scripts, but anyways, make a local script, and then we're going to go ahead and define our service, okay, so local run service is equal to um, game.getService run service, okay, there we go, and now we're going to go ahead and set run service dot, um, we're going to do run service dot heartbeat, we'll do that one first, okay, and then connect a function to it, this, okay, now you may be a little confused right now, I know I didn't really explain much, but I'm going to go ahead and just print hi, um, but basically, as you can see here, um, I got run service, which is a service, and then um, I connected it to an event called heartbeat, and then every time the function, or every time the heartbeat event fires, it'll print high, okay? Now, what is heartbeat? Well, I'm going to go ahead and read to you what heartbeat is, according to Roblox, okay? Just right straight from the wiki, okay? Just the, the, the most advanced way possible, okay? It says, fires every frame after the physics simulation has been completed, okay? So basically... This event's going to fire every frame after the physics simulation has been completed. If you guys don't understand what frames are and like what physics simulations are, um, basically, actually, I'm, I want to go back to the basics here. If you guys don't even understand how like games work in general, um, okay, so for example, you, have you ever heard the term like, you know, uh, I'm playing at 60 FPS or like I have 30 FPS right now, you know what I'm saying? Or like you're saying you get one frame per second like as your game's lagging or something like that. Basically, it, how games work, right, is you, you play your game, okay, you provide input and that actually, okay, okay, so, all right, for example, I opened this game, okay? I didn't move at all, I opened the game, okay? What's happening is um, a, a, a frame's being rendered, okay? Frames are always being rendered because I'm animating, as you can see, slowly but surely. But basically, a frame is being rendered, which means a picture is being rendered of the screen, okay, and what I need to see and what they want me to see. And then it's showing another frame after that um, that looks pretty similar, so it looks like it's a video, right? But it's showing another frame after that. So it's showing a bunch of frames in a very short amount of time, so it looks like I'm actually moving in real time. And it looks like it's actually like a real, I, I don't know how to explain it, like a real real like it looks like it's like i'm actually providing input and i am providing input but i mean like it looks like it's happening in real time and same thing with videos the videos are just a bunch of pictures displayed really fast right that's so it looks like a video um or you, you know when you take a video it's just you take a video and then it just saves a bunch of pictures and then it just plays them really fast so that's how videos work but um and the same thing with games right it renders a bunch of frames and when i say render it means like it draws it right like it it, like the computer computes it and then it tells it what you need to look like right so it'll get every color of every of every pixel on your screen right and it'll make that color and then it'll draw it and then it and then it's rendered right um and then physics simulation obviously is like you know after the physics has been like computed um because you know you stuff like gravity to account for and just all the physics and yeah um but anyways that's what heartbeat is so it fires after every frame um the physics simulation has been completed. So as you can see, if I look right here, right, I actually have my um, my, my my events. It's firing, right? It's at 5,500, 5,600, 5,700. It's firing very, very fast and a lot. That's because my FPS is pretty high. But as you can see, it's basically firing, I guess you could say, after every frame, right? You can time it if you want, but I guess close to there, right? And then you have things like render stepped, okay? So you have things like render stepped, which basically provide the same purpose. Um, but it, it says it says it fires every frame prior to the frame being rendered. Um, so it fires before the frame is actually rendered, um, right before it's rendered. So yeah, it, these are all pretty similar. Okay, render step you can see it's firing a bunch as well. Um, and then you have it's all pretty similar. And then you have a uh, stepped. Okay, and honestly, like I 
I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I, I, I don't even understand the difference between most of these things. Like, it, it, I just talked really fast. Sorry. I don't really understand the difference between most of these things. Like, it, it's kind of confusing, um, especially for a beginner. But basically, it, it, it has to do with the with, with the, the the frame rate, right? And <laughs> just kind of like the frames and how they work. Uh, you can look on the wiki, which I encourage you to do, and maybe read up more on this if you want to. But as you can see, we're using stepped right now, uh, and the stepped is uh, fires every frame prior to the physics simulation, okay? So this is firing prior to even the physics being simulated. So yeah, and then heartbeat is after the physics being simulated, and then render stepped is prior to the frame being rendered. So yeah. Um, <laughs> It's a little confusing, but basically just know that they're tied to every frame in some way, shape, or form, okay? Uh, and then as you can see here too, there's a little diagram of how it all works and which comes first. And as you can see, heartbeats like last, uh, render steps before everything's, uh, you know, uh, rendered. And then you can see you have stepped here and all that stuff. And I know it's a little confusing. If this diagram confuses you, don't worry. All you need to know basically is these are tied to the frame rate, right? Like some people use these as a substitute for like while loops sometimes. Um, but yeah, anyways, that that's how that works. And I, 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 I'm trying to think of a way this could be useful to explain like a, a good scenario to use this in, but I can't really think of anything, but uh, yeah, sorry. Um, anyways, uh, th there are certain times when you want to eat when you want to use each, but you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself because obviously I can't tell you everything. Um, but yeah, anyways, that that's sort of what run servers is mainly used for, but there's also some cool things you have, which are pretty simple to understand, uh, like, like, uh, crap, like, uh, is studio, okay, so you can, you can actually do something cool, like, and see, like, you can do run service dot is studio, oh, no, no, wait, let me, oh, wait, I'm kind of, kind of dumb, uh, <laughs> um, but you can check the studio, I forgot the syntax, let me, let me look for one second. Yeah, I think it. Is, I think it is a studio. No, it's a function. Okay, so you would do like local function. Uh, are we or er, is studio? I'll just name it the same thing. Okay, I'll do. I can. You can make this whatever you want, but I'm just gonna make a variable called like uh, is this in studio? Okay, so I'll just do is studio, and then I'll set it equal to the function of run service called is studio. Okay, uh, and as you can see there now, it's going to run that function. Or yeah. It should. Anyways, so let's go ahead and run that, and then it'll save the studio, and then we can print. Uh, we can print that. So it'll it'll come back as a boolean value if it's in the studio, which we are in Roblox Studio, so it should, right? Um, and there you go. It says true. So perfect. It worked. Um, but if you're doing a server, it's not going to print true, right? So you can also do things like um, you can also do things like is server, right? You can tech if we're in a server. Um, and we're not in a server, so it's not going to print true. It's going to print false. But as you can see, you'll be able to check here. And see, false. So that's kind of cool, useful to know. There's also other things like checking uh, if it's in run mode or if it's in uh, edit mode or if it's in uh, the client. You can actually check that too. Um, but also, I think when it, when it says about in server, it means if it's like the scripts running on the server, not like if it's on a server. I, I don't think so at least <laughs> um, but yeah anyways and then you see you can do is client and this is in a local script so it's going to I know I didn't change the name of the variable which is kind of bad but um, you see it's, it's on the client it's true but yeah that's basically run service okay uh, a, a lot of confusing stuff it, I know you might not understand like the basically heartbeat and render step and stuff but just know that it, it's it's like doing a while loop kind of <laughs> I don't even know, man, but that, <laughs> that that's what it is, basically, okay? Uh, anyways, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm sorry, my, it might if, I'm sorry if it was a little confusing, but that's basically how it works and how run service is. It, it, it's just, yeah, okay, that that's it. Okay, anyways, go ahead and check out a video or the, the wiki forum for it. I'll leave, a link description. I'll leave a link in the description below for that. Anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Also, use code TAP. Okay, bye.